Alright, so, look. Uh, look, let me explain something right quick about this Occupy movement. When we talk about a profit-driven system, we have to remind ourselves who creates that profit. Workers create the profit that the 1% rely on to survive. And when we talk about work or people that are directly affected by this economic crisis fighting back, unions were created by workers for them to fight back at the point of production. If we don't have unions in this country, we don't stand a chance in defeating the 1%. The Occupy, y'all with that? Yeah. The Occupy movement, let's remember our history a little bit. In 1933 and 1934, on Lakewood Avenue right here in Atlanta, Georgia, was the site of one of the first occupations that happened in a workplace. It was a Ford factory that was occupied by the workers right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. In 2009, a group of brave workers in Chicago occupied their factory at the Republic windows and doors and refused to leave until they got their full severance and six months of pay. That's the kind of occupation that we need. All right. All right. In December, in December of 2001, the Argentina working class in Argentina and Buenos Aires and throughout the country rose up. They overthrew seven presidents in six weeks. They later went into the communities. They went into the neighborhoods. They went into the workplaces and began to take over factories that were being shut down by their bosses. They began to not only take over to occupy those factories, they began to run those factories for profit and distribute the wealth to their neighborhoods. Are y'all with some tactic like that? Yeah! Let me tell you about Home Depot. You know, when we first put this thing out, announcing this action, there were a lot of people said that were drinking that orange Kool-Aid that said you can't go after Home Depot in their backyard. Okay? They said Home Depot, they built Habitat for Humanity houses. They do this and that. Well, let me tell you, they can't pay off their guilt. That's what it is. They're trying to utilize this public relations to cover up their anti-union, anti-worker of color, anti-women policies that they have in their workplaces. They're contracting with the Waste Hauler Republic Waste Services that are trying to bust our union, the Teachers Union, from coast to coast. And I want to ask you, Occupy Atlanta, are you going to allow this homegrown corporation, Home Depot, to get away with it anymore? No! Are you going to let them get away with it? No! Are we going to be back? Yes! Thank you so much. It makes me proud to stand working for all these years of the labor movement. Now we got a growing movement for economic and social justice. Let's keep it rolling. Yeah.